for many Oklahoma operations, uh, we're in the midst of the spring calving season. That's a time when we need to reassess the nutritional status of the cows because as they go from being a, a gestating cow that's not lactating to a cow that uh, is in full lactation, their nutrient requirements change rather dramatically. For instance, the protein requirement for a gestating cow, so let's say that's one that's about 1,200 pounds before she calves, is about 1.9 pounds of crude protein each day. It increases by 52%, a full pound, up to 2.9 pounds of protein needed for that same cow after she calves, even though she's probably 100 pounds lighter. Her energy requirements also go up rather dramatically. Percentage-wise, it's not quite as much. It's about 30% increase in the energy required for that cow after she calves than what she was while she was still pregnant. Therefore, we need to keep in mind that her diet probably needs to change to some degree as she goes into the early part of lactation because we don't want her to lose body condition between calving and the start of the breeding season. If she does, it'll just delay her return to estrus and therefore return, uh, delay her chance to become pregnant during the upcoming breeding season. We also want to remember that that lactating cow, even though she weighs a little bit less, will consume more feed on a dry matter basis voluntarily than she did before she calved. However, the increase in what she will consume voluntarily is only about 20%. So here we have a situation where her protein requirement goes up 50, 52%, energy requirement goes up 30%, but her ability to consume feed only increases 20%. That means to me that we're going to have to change that diet to where we can meet that energy and protein needs by perhaps adding a few more pounds of the high protein supplement. In the case of uh, those ranchers that might be feeding a 30% crude protein supplement, in order to make up that difference, we're looking at an increase of about three to three and a third pounds of that supplement per head per day for those cows that are now have the calves at side and are lactating. Or we're going to have to increase the quality of the hay rather dramatically. Uh, going from grass hay to something like alfalfa hay in order to make up those needs. I think the important thing to remember is that we're in a situation where as these cows' requirements change, we have to provide the increase in protein and energy in order for that cow to maintain body condition through this period between calving and the return to estrus and the upcoming breeding season. If you'd like to learn a little bit more about the nutrient requirements and how they change from the cow that's gestating to the cow that's lactating, go to the show links on the SUNUP website. Remember, that's just sunup.okstate.edu. Look under show links, and we have a link there to a very, very good fact sheet, 974. It's called Nutrient Requirements of Beef Cattle. It'll let you look at the amounts of those nutrients that are needed for cattle of, of all different classes. And we look forward to visiting with you again next week on SUNUP's Cow-Calf Corner.